welcome to the Axel and Daddy Bear Surprise! <laughs> it's Axel. It's the Bear Cage Show. Kids, we are here at the Smoky Mountains National Forest in Tennessee. What is this a right bear here? Trap. Kids, this is a cage for bears. There's lots of bears up here in the Smoky Mountain National Park. And they found a bear on the trail where there's a whole lot of people. And they have to make sure that Let the people the are safe. So they had a man here with what, a tranquilizer uh -huh. gun? They had a man here with a tranquilizer gun. He's a park ranger. I think the man is just there just in case the bear gets aggressive. But if the bear it, it just walks away from all the people and they're fine, I don't think that they're going to use the tranquilizer gun. I don't think so. Do you want to look inside of this? We'll stick the kids inside of there. Look, can you see inside of there, kids? That's where they keep the bear. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's where they would keep the bear if they had to catch Wait, it. But they're hopefully. Wait, the hummingbird. We got this hummingbird, kids. It's so cool. Oh my goodness. So hopefully the bear it, it, it just runs away from the trail and stays away from the people and they don't have to use the tranquilizer. Because this is the bear's natural habitat, actually, right? Mm -hmm. And all these visitors that are coming here, they're actually in the bear's home. This is the bear's home. Yeah. So hopefully the bear just gets to stay in his home and they don't have to move him to another place. Hopefully She's, that's how it works out. She said the girl has a collar. So they're going to be trying to tranquilize it and put a collar on it? All right, kids. Well, we're back in the car right now because we heard that they actually had to tranquilize the bear. So we're going to go see. We're going to go check it out. Are you ready to go check it out? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, kids. Well, it looks like they have the bear over here. So we're going to go check it out. Are you ready to see a bear? Oh, my goodness. Axel said he wanted to see a bear when we came here to Tennessee, and he might just get to see one right now. Let's see. Come on. This is about an 18 month old bear cub. They have tranquilized the bear, so it's asleep right now. It's okay. What Will it be for a long time? Uh, for quite a while. Um, I wonder if the bear is dreaming. <laughs> I wonder if it's dreaming. What it's dreaming about? Maybe eating some berries? That's what it's dreaming about. Blueberries. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> Let's get another look at it. Those paws are pretty big. They probably do some damage. See how it's breathing? See that? Mm-hmm. They're extracting some blood from the bear, a blood sample. And they do testing on that blood so they can help the bears. They can figure out lots of things about the bears and help them. We're with a YouTube show for kids. Yeah. It's called The Axel Show. Awesome. So you're a ranger, right? That's right. That's awesome. So what are y'all doing here with the bear? Can uh, I you're, feel are it? you going to put the. Yeah, you can touch him. We're putting a GPS collar on him so we can track his movements. Oh, okay. And hopefully uh, this will be enough negative experience he will associate us with, uh, with humans. danger instead right. of food. So. Right. Did you hear that, Bubba? Yes, that's me as well. How much does this bear weigh? About 50 pounds. 50 pounds. Wow. It's a yearling. So he's a year and a half old. He's a year and a half old. Oh my goodness. So the blood samples you took, are, are you going to use that to try to find out things about the bears? Yeah, this is uh, Jessica. She's a UT graduate student. It's okay. her graduate research. And she's oh. tracking movements and wow. doing some other analysis as well. That's so awesome. Well, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. All right, well, let's say bye to the bear. Bye, bear. Bye, bear. Are we he, he's going to wake up here soon. Yep, it won't be long. That's so neat. So what do you think? Do you think that, uh, do you think that, that bear um, is something that, that you'll remember for the rest of your life? I think so. I think Axel will remember this for the rest of his life, kids. Really interesting experience. Do you want to feel? Now he's going to carry the bear down here, closer to his mom. Uh -huh. Wow. Thank you. 
on the kit and the other camp here. Oh, here it goes. Yeah, carrying the bear up the hill so they can let him go where he's far away from other people. They're giving him a another anti-sedative, something that causes him to wake up. Kids, we're here with Ranger Ryan. He's the one who actually shot the bear with a tranquilizer gun. And we're going to talk to him for a second about how the tranquilizer gun works and about how the bear feels whenever, we, whenever it gets shot. So how long did you have to train to learn how to shoot that tranquilizer gun? Well, I have a master's degree in wildlife science. So right. It's, uh, it's been about a 10-year process. Wow. And uh, we, we train pretty heavily with our rifles just to make sure they're accurate. Right, and, right. Uh, this is a dart that we anesthetize the bear with. Right. And Look at that, kids. That's that's a fairly large dart. That's pretty big. It has to carry a, quite a bit of amount of sedative to make sure that that it actually works, right? Because you want to get it on the first shot. And how do you load the gun? It the dart. I'll show you here, just a second. Uh, so uh, we base the amount of anesthesia based uh -huh. on the bear's weight. Okay, so you look at it and you just size up using your imagination about how much the bear weighs, Correct. and then you put that amount of sedative inside of the dart. Correct. And it's basically like a just like a paintball gun. It's CO2 powered. Uh huh. The dart loads from the rear. Right. And just make sure you hit the bear in a, in a fatty area, a okay. muscle fatty area, usually the front shoulder or the rear hip. Uh huh. And then that drug will be carried to the the heart. Right. Via the bloodstream. So whenever whenever that whenever that injects it, is it from the dart having to? Once the dart stops, does the force of it stopping, the the uh, the liquid little, keeps going? Correct. There's a little tiny charge in here. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It's loaded by a spring. So when the the dart hits, the spring the spring compresses and it hits like a ah. little primer, and then that primer blows the drug in the animal, and this little collar keeps it in the skin. Right. Right. So it doesn't blow back out. Right. That's pretty interesting. That's really so com like complex device there, even though it looks kind of simple. Eye. Yeah, well, these are only used for wildlife. Right. O only for only for wildlife, not only for humans. But if it's stuck about back out, it might go so fast it might like, like the back might just like go right in your eye. Oh, you know, I don't oh. think that would ricochet. So like yeah, these don't ricochet. They're not they going wouldn't about ricochet. 100 feet a second. Right. So they wow. Did. That's that's yeah. Bullets go much faster than that. That's not quite as fast. So how close to the bear do you have to be in order to be able to make sure that it works correctly? Usually about 15 yards is what I prefer. Is that difficult to get that close to the bear? Usually. Uh, truly wild behavior bear is mm -hmm. really difficult because right. truly wild behavior means when you see the bear it runs. Okay, so the bear runs from you. Right. Most bears most of the are, time. Are naturally afraid of people. Some right. Bears, they're around big numbers of people. They they start get getting habituated to people. So oh, okay. Right. So, and we do this as part of a, a process to reinstill the fear of humans in the bears. In the bear. Oh, okay. Right. So, right. So we want it to be a negative experience. So right. They don't come to us for so food. So you want them to be afraid of humans so that they don't end up having to be uh, killed. Correct. Sometimes, maybe. Right. Yep. Isn't that neat? To protect the bears, they make the, sure the bears have a healthy fear of humans. Mm -hmm. That's pretty neat, isn't it? Huh. Really cool stuff. Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It was good to meet you. Can you want to shake his hand? Can I feel the dart? Mm-hmm. Shake my hand, though, first. <laughs> <laughs> you want to feel the dart? Just wow. Be yeah, be very careful. Don't touch yep. the tip of it. Yeah. Isn't that neat? neat? Huh? Wow, that's pretty cool. Well, thank you so much. Yeah, we really cool. appreciate it, Ranger Ryan. Yeah. Is the right. gun heavy? Oh, it's pretty light. It's we, it looks like it's made out of aluminum. It is. We carry it long ways in the backcountry. That's so awesome. Thank you so much for showing us that. What did you say you wanted to do when you came here? See a bear. Did you get to see a bear? Uh -huh. Did you get to touch a bear? Uh -huh. Is that crazy? But I wanted to see the bear awake. Oh. <laughs> I actually wanted to see the bear awake walking around. You know, that is that is better to see a bear in its natural habitat walking around without being drugged. <laughs> How about we go for a little hike? We'll come back and we'll see if the bear's woken up yet. Uh huh. Wanna do that? Okay. Alright, kids, we're gonna go for a little hike and then we're gonna come back to this place and see if the bear's woken up yet, okay? Let's do that. Oh my goodness, kids, we came back 
to the spot where the bear was, and the bear was just waking up, and it's walking away right now. Let's look at it. Oh, he's still drowsy. He's feeling kind of woozy. There he goes. Woozy from the sedative. <gasps> he's walking now. There he is. There he goes. Is that cool or what? The bear's still a little bit drowsy from the tranquilizer, but it's getting awake. There it goes. Is that exciting? Mr. Bear. Bye. Shh. <laughs> not too loud. Bubba, what do you think? The first time you got to see a bear, uh -huh. it was a baby bear, and it was like this. Do you know what they call those baby bears? What? A yearling. It's a yearling, because they're only one year old. Mm -hmm. So cool. So awesome. Or right. zero. There's, well, no, 18 months, so a little over a year, year and a half. Yeah. Kids, we are so glad that we got to share this experience with you guys. And we're gonna be having a lot more fun. <laughs> Sorry, there's mosquitoes everywhere. In the Smoky Mountains with Axel. And we're gonna show you guys the adventures we have all here, okay? You guys get out in nature and have your own adventures. It's so much fun to be in nature and to explore. And you never know when you might find something as neat as a baby bear. We'll see you later, bye. Hi family.